Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Dgray and today we continue our vanilla playthrough of Factorio. And uh, let's start by just collecting a few more of our green circuits now that we uh, have the setup up and running. So today I want to get um, our science situation sorted out. That means that we'll have to uh, hook up our green science as well as getting some labs down down here. So first things first, let's just grab a few things that we need. For one, we need iron to flow in uh, this way. The same, we need iron and green circuits flowing down here. Luckily, that shouldn't be too hard. So let's first things first, let's set up, what's it called, our iron. That can luckily jump in quite easily like this. You can go to there. And let's get the iron hooked up first thing. 2-2, two, two, that goes in, 2-2. Two, two. That is perfect. So that means we are starting to make belts. One more place than just uh, up top. That also means that we can probably start to buffer a few gears here if we want to, but uh, so far this is fine. Let's just copy this one down here as well, right here, and hook up the other side, which is gonna be um, our inserters. There we are. And then we have this flowing in. Oh, one thing I have to remember, we want green circuits on one side, so in theory we should actually move this up one. By doing that, we can do uh, inputs from both sides, just like this. Let's just pick up what's too much here. And then we want green circuits to flow in through this side. Luckily, that's gonna be quite easy to do as soon as we get the green circuits out on the main bus. So let's see here. Where is it we want to jump it from? If you do the same one as we have up here, we'll have to jump something like here and here. Let's just get a few more. Luckily, we are crafting moss enough at the moment to get this situated. Green out, green out. And then we'll have two belts running down here to the south. So right here. And to be honest, I kind of want to split one of these off to go um, up this way. Uh, maybe doing it right here instead. So we have one running this way and one running up because we moved... Um... Oh, we have to move back down one since we move one of them a bit, a bit wonky by making this up here. So if we just do this, get the screen to go this way and float back in, then we should, if we just take a little blueprint of this, more blueprint, have this oh, lined up correctly. Let's just continue that one. So let's just get some ghost blueprints down to see that it fits perfectly. There we are. The same over here. And look at that. That lines up very, very nicely. And then we have two belts of greens going down this way. Let's just mark it out a bit. There we are. So that means we have uh, green circuits flowing in as we should. That means we are producing inserters up here. That means we can start to grab some of these and uh, hook up these. What is different with these compared to um, the red ones is that these take six seconds to craft. So we'll need six instead of five to get one per second. And if we just do this, three, four, five, six, that will sort itself out nicely. Now we can also grab these from the belts, which is extremely nicely. And look at that 
now everything is set up very, very nicely. Could actually move them up one, but um, this should be fine. So there we are. That is all we need to get um, this running. Now that I'm thinking about it, we could probably have done both of these in one line instead. But uh, that's something we'll think about in the future. So doing half a belt of iron and half a belt of what's called green circuits with one of these in the middle. So first things first, let's give this a bit of speed just to make sure we don't have any issues and luckily it's quite easy for us to craft new things now. So there we are, that should run at max speed. Good, let's just steal a bit and let's get a few labs up and running so we can sort this out. So since we want one science per minute, as we're doing right, not one, one science per second, that means we can pretty much just set this up as, uh, as we want right now. We can just grab a few gear wheels from here, so we don't have to craft them by hand. And maybe set up something like, should we set up 10 labs? I think that is fine for now, to run with 10. And just do a small setup back here. Um, we'll always have to move, have to move other things back later, but for now I think this will be fine. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. And let's just do that in two rows. I kind of want to do it a bit further down. Five and one, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna be our science setup. It's a bit silly that I didn't line it up now. I can clearly see that. So let's just move it down a bit. And line it up. Right here. There we go. So hopefully this will give us all we need to... Um, To get this running so power, power let's do power a bit differently let's do power 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 there we are and let's hook it up oh, we're just outside range but there we are that is green and red science automated and we can pick up resources from the belts as intended now we just need to go sort a bit of an issue we have up here and that is pretty much just the iron that can't keep up anymore and that is all an issue we have because we haven't really finished our smeltery columns yet so let's just set up an iron one. Oh, and it's also an iron input issue so a lot of things we need to fix before we can sort this out and that's because i was so ingenious that i moved only did half belts. Oh, and our power is lacking. So many things that we'll have to make and deconstruct up here. Oh, 200 gears. That's going to be quite nice. So let's start to dismantle our little operation up here since it's not really needed anymore. And expand out our setup a bit. Go, let's grab these while things are crafting. That has been cleaned up. So let's hook up a few things up here. And this will fit with the six we have. One, two, three. Like to do six. Two, three, four, five, six. Get some wire in between.
get some burner inserters since that is the way we are we're rolling and hopefully this will give us enough power to support our base could actually do that so what is the next thing we should work towards this might be a bit early but uh, it could save some things for us better power better this let's get some better power poles i think that'll be quite quite nice to get done quite early circuits can wait a bit uh, let's get this one and that one just to have a few things to work with so we came from this we need to set up a bit more uh, mining issue we can just pretty much set it up here and just filter out what we don't want and that being uh, what's it called the copper so a good way to do that is actually doing it right here getting a few more of these to merge it in but i'd like to say up priority to write if you are copper ore that way everything else goes down here merges onto the correct belts and all of our copper can just go this way over to the other belt right here that will then merge in and say impropriety from the right so we always empty that out first We could probably use a little lane balancer just to sort this out. But uh, for now, I think this is fine and running as intended. Yeah, we need to set up some more power, but uh, we can easily do that. So let's see. Oh, here's some iron force. Pretty much does dismantle all of this production now. At least one side. Oh, well, that's way too much I picked up. There we are. And hook up this one. Let's go set up some more power up here. Did I just put in ghost ones? That's why we didn't get the power. There we go. And let's just copy paste this one over here to see how we should set it up. go let's get one two three four let's get one more of you two more of you and a ton of pipe we should probably set up um what's called some uh oops pipe production somewhere down south and we will do that quite soon because we're almost at the point where i want to set up our first mall since one of the things that that can slow down a beginner base is um having to wait to handcraft too many things so setting that up is actually quite quite important so as you can see now we're filtering out the copper not mixing down to our iron line and that is always always very important to do since uh, otherwise we'll get quite a bit of issues so now let's fill in the rest of this one there we go when this is full we should have 48 that is at least what i'm hoping i planned out this is 48 that means we'll fill up one whole iron built doing this let's just go like this hopefully we have enough we might be lacking a few but um, that we will easily solve by just going down and picking some up from our area where we are crafting crafting a green science Grab some more belts. You can just go run. Right, this is going as well. Here are some inserters. That is lacking iron. 
So you can just have that same up here just to fill in iron wherever we can. So it will run by itself. You can just get a bit of copper. I have so much. So let's just empty out our inventory a bit because we are quite, quite full on the stuff. So now that all this is running again, I had to grab some inserters. Unfortunately, we don't have that many, but that did give us 16 more. And the rest we can pretty much handcraft. So here we go. Let's get this up and running. And there we are. Let's run some belts. One side will work right away. The other one will need to get the power poles before it's operational. So, power pole, please just start right here. And the last ones in here, we'll make sure everything gets onto the belt. And then we have our first full, fully compressed yellow belt going out. Uh, just missing a bit of coal down here. That is luckily on its way. So let's just see if we have a fully compressed belt. That is exactly what I'm seeing. So um, that is perfect. Exactly as I wanted. So belt going in. It's fully compressed. Perfect. Now we kind of need to do the same for our copper. Oh, we don't need to. We have more than enough copper being supplied right now. But in the future, that will be necessary. Let's just get rid of this part. And you can go up here. So coal might be something we should start to look at as well. And maybe setting up a bit of... What's it called? Stone. But to be honest, I kind of want to get a mall up and running first. That is our number one priority at the moment. Since that will make a lot of things a lot easier in the future. So let's do my normal mall. I think I learned it from Catherine of Sky or something like that. But um, it does the job and uh, it's kind of something I had built myself already, but uh, she improved on quite a bit. So the way I'm going to do it is that below this one, let's just move it in a bit so we don't interfere. We do have enough room, so it shouldn't be too bad. We'll do setups like this one. Remove the middle. And then I want to do, because it don't need to be fast, give it a gear wheel and pipe. I'll probably run into an issue since we have a lake right here, but that we can solve in the future. But uh, for now, it is completely fine. We'll just have to make some landfill at some point. Then we will lock, want something like four built in. Let's take four for now. Let's do four down here to future prove it a little bit. And then we pretty much just need to hook all of this up. So two, three, right here. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the gist of it. Um, I can't remember if I normally do two rows of these. I think it could be a good thing to do since we'll need quite a lot of these and one might slow it down too much. So let's try and do this. There we are. And then we'll kind of split off right here. This will be an iron line to go this way. 
jump over or under, depending on how you look at it, and come out in here. So I'll do from right here to here. And then we just need to get inserters into all of these out, out. Do something like that. In, in, and out, out. Get ourselves a small amount of iron flowing in this way as well. And jumping like that. This one is not really needed, but it just looks better when it's symmetrical. That is kind of why I'm doing it. Should probably set up some steel just so we can get the medium power poles. They look a lot better in this setup than uh, the small electric ones. So let's just do just a bit of steel smelting over here. We can just do a small amount right here for now just to get the poles we need until we can automate it in just a few seconds. Here's some coal for you. Please craft some steel for us. So. Waiting for the steel before we continue. But while we wait, let's set up the first thing we want. We kind of want to get some belts. Or actually, we might actually want to get inserters first. So let's see if we can set up some inserters and get that up and running. I think that will be the best idea. So when doing this, we'll have to set it up in the correct way. So as you can see, all of these needs, um, or these three needs the normal inserters. So what we do is we'll put the normal inserter in the middle. Then up here, we'll do what's called the long-handed one. And down here we can do, what's it called? The fast inserter one, nope, never mind. We'll do the fast inserter one up here for that simple reason that it will be needed for, uh, for more things. So by doing this, we can do a few buffer chests. And uh, that is actually quite, quite important. Since if we don't have the buffer chest, then it'll be quite hard for us to uh, get more things up and running. So let's see here. A few iron buffer chests. We'll need one right here, here, and there I think will be good, at least for now. And what we do is then here, here, and this way as well. Limit the chest to one stack so we don't overproduce. Get all of this flowing down here. And then we are quite close to having our free inserter set up. So let's see what we can do about this. Um, I'm feeling we're doing something a bit wrong, but uh, I think it should be fine. So let's see here. Inserters could also get the burner ones down here if we wanted to, just to have all of it set up. Let's just do that for now. And uh, let's start to put in the items we need. So since we have an entire iron lane coming in here, let's do a half a lane of um, other things going somewhere else. Let's get the poles. And let's see, where can we fit them in? Will that be a good... Oh, that might actually be good. What if we do it right here in the middle? Then I'll be able to hit all of them out there. And then we might have to put some out here at some point. But for now, I think this will be fine. So we can jump these across. We'll jump here as well. Pretty much at every intersection we would like to jump. At least except the first two, and that will make all these flow down correctly. And this won't be good because it'll mess it up later. So let's change it a bit again. Um, we could have left them, but I want to make it somewhat symmetrical, and that would have made that look completely horrible. 
So what if we do something else? So what if we do it here, here, and then the outside if needed on both sides? So always take the bottom one, or we can do it right here instead. Taking that one, taking that one, so we have all the inserter spaces we need. Doing the same here and there. So something like that will cover most of this with power. Then we have to power it like this and like that. Or power it in here. What if we power it right? What if we do this instead? Let's see if we can do a somewhat good setup in terms of covering this with power. Since uh, doing it wrong will hurt us a bit. So, oh, we can actually do this. So right here and right there. That might not be a bad idea. Then we cover each out here as well with the, the outputs we need. So let's try something like this for a setup. And then do the same down here. Just have to go grab some more steel. Craft some more medium power poles. And then we are quite ready to uh, to fire this up. Let's just spend some of these connecting it up. There we are. So now this is working. Let's just hook up the rest of this. There we are. And then we just need to hook up the iron first. So let's do that right away to get that part up and running. Split right here. We'll always do the jump in a bit later. Do the same. There we are. And then we'll just add, what's it called? All of um, the other things. So on this one, we want a mix belt pretty much get green circuits in, uh, make room for uh, red circuits in the future, since we want to plan a bit for that. But as you can see, now we have all of this flowing in as we want. We also got our logistics done. So let's start looking at the next part of this. Let's get landfill. I have a feeling we'll need it quite soon. Also getting our steel furnaces up and running since that will also be needed quite, quite soon to increase our output. And let's get a bit, oh, let's get the machines, or the engine, sorry. So now we have this running. As you can see, we are producing a ton of gears. We are producing pipes. We have these two needs things. We'll need to have an input and an input. That's the gears, this one in gears as well. There we are. Then we need to drag some iron up and go into here to the middle. So let's just do a little drag, go this way, jump to there. Get more inserters, as that has been the theme so far, just adding more and more of those. Do the same up here to get both sides fixed. And then we're quite close to having a uh, at least the start of a mall. And you can just jump in here as well. Not needed, but it looks nice. There we are. Then we also need one chest right here. I just remembered. So now we just need to get this one to run. That means we just need the green circuits. They can be merged on this belt or to be honest, we can just take him in from over here. So this can go down this way. Get the iron from. Oh wait, I know what we're doing instead. We actually don't need to get the iron down this way. We can just do long-handed inserters and a normal inserter right here. So the last thing this episode is just us fitting in.
our belts. Bit annoyed that we can't really merge it correctly here since we have iron at the inside. But we can solve that some other way. So let's just get these four all the way down. Just so we can see what we have to work with. And what we need is pretty much screen circuits to uh, to come in right here. To get this little part up and running. So let's see. Green circuits. You can't jump in here. But what if we just do here to here and then merge here and here and get green circuits in right there. I think that should work perfectly to get the inserters up and running. Um, there and then we'll just do that to make sure it only goes on one side and there we are. That means we have green uh, circuits flowing in, going down this way. And then we'll just craft one long-handed to put into this one. And then we can pretty much just get um, green circuits flowing in this way as well. Oh, they don't need green circuits. Never mind. We'll just get green circuits in this way anyway, since that is kind of needed. So let's do that. Green circuits in place. Right here. Yeah. And you can then travel this way. To here. And in. So that activates or and so it's here. So that activates this one. That activates production of long handed. As soon as I have enough, they'll start to throw it into this one. They'll start to activate these as soon as we add a few more things to the mix. And then our built factories looking, or things are looking quite, quite good. Let's just throw in a little belt, or a little buffer for that one. So look at that. Our first mall is coming along nicely. Now we just need to set up a few of the other things that we need. But that will be something we'll start to do next episode. So um, hopefully you're enjoying this as much as I am. Hopefully you'll give me a like and a subscribe. That helps me and helps you find me. So uh, yeah, that will be brilliant. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I've been D Gray and I'll see you next episode. Bye guys.